Hey guys, I'm Nye, and because apparently I hate myself, this is Let's Play FTL. Okay, so, let's look at our list here. I kind of find it impressive how many achievements we have actually unlocked. I uh, still haven't done anything for the Man of War, but uh, we learned that the anti-bio beam, I think I mentioned this before, the anti-bio beam doesn't work on room, it works on contact. Uh, so we gotta learn how to work with that. Still need the Ancestry Achievement for the Bulwark. We did unlock the Type B of the Adjudicator, so I'm probably gonna run with that. Uh, this is the No Weather, or No Ether? I'm not sure. I like the look of this ship. Not just because of the, I mean, honestly, that color scheme's kinda cool. But I also like the fact that it comes two Ion Blasts and a Pike Beam directly off the bat. Uh, being able to shut enemy ships down is gonna be really helpful. So I think we're gonna run with this. We do need to run with the achievement of have 29 power and systems at the same time. This uh, run is not going to require me, uh, or it's not going to require that I um, leave all of my upgrades until another time. So I think that's going to be helpful. Now, I do need to point something out, something very important, and that is that this ship only starts with one bar of shields. I know that doesn't sound important, but if you remember, one bar, uh, the first bar of shields passes is going to require 100 scrap. So I'm really going to have to hope that I don't need that, otherwise we're going to find ourselves in a heap of trouble. Okay, let's give these guys some fuel, get some free scrap out of it, I'm okay by that, we're going to put that into engines. So uh, this run is going to re require a lot of engine work, and uh, when I have 100 spare scrap just sort of floating around, uh, that's when I'm actually going to uh, be looking into things like getting uh, shields upgraded. Let's go ahead and look around. Let's go ahead and defend the outpost here. Ion Blast to here, Ion Blast to here, and a Pike Beam across as many decks as I can pull off. Let's do it like that. Turn everything on auto fire, and we should be good to go. This ship should be uh, a fair pleasure to fly uh, in general, though I am a little bit amazed that this thing actually had a chance to fire at me before I had a chance to uh, destroy it, basically. Now it looks like we should be able to just do this to every ship, essentially, and then when uh, our gunner is at level two weapons, uh, we should be able to just shut things down. Of course, Ion Blast Mark 1 is not going to be nearly as good as Ion Blast Mark 2, but, um... Yeah, it's understandable. Okay, let's go ahead and keep jumping. Breach missiles? Sure. Okay. Not going to argue with that. Okay, so this one could be a little bit more problematic. Let's go ahead and actually let those fire first. Uh, not only the, uh, oh god, it's an Ion Blast Mark II. Okay, this could be really problematic, just depending on exactly how fast we're able to destroy this thing. Because I remember, I have no shields. It has shields. So now my, uh, now my shields are completely offline. Really bad. Luckily, its weapons are offline. Okay, so we should be fine. I'm gonna want to upgrade that pike beam eventually, but uh, we could be okay for now. Um, let's go ahead and keep jumping. Unfortunately, that uh, mercenary didn't really hold the rebels off for too long. I'm kind of... Uh, there's a store out there that I might be able to hit. I'm kind of regretting actually paying that mercenary for those two jumps. Not sure if that was actually worth it. Let's go ahead and hit over here. Come on, give me something useful. Uh, actually, let's, get, let's see. These guys have missiles and they have a heavy laser. I'm going to actually attack these guys. That actually seems well worth my trouble, especially with my ion blast. I feel kind of I feel kind of powerful. Not uh you know, not incredibly so. They, this could definitely end, you know, badly, but I do feel a little bit powerful. I feel uh, a little bit strong here, so I think we definitely have a ship we can work with. You're not allowed to go anywhere. Okay, I'm glad this thing only has a uh, Artemis missile. 
Uh, that's going to basically ensure that uh, I'm not going to take any damage here. But we're getting kind of close. I really would like to see a more powerful weapon of some sort. Probably replace the pike beam, though, uh, if, um, if I'm able to pick up something like an Ion Blast Mark II at some point, I wouldn't mind swapping that out. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade our engines again. Again, I'm probably going to be saving uh, the shield upgrade for a while. I'm not sure how long, but the sheer fact that I have the Ion Blast Mark... Crap. Crap, 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 double crap, triple crap, quadruple crap. I'm going to take damage here. Uh, this needs to go there. Very, very bad. Very, very bad. Okay, can we... This is not going well. That thing is online. Oh, ah. Yeah, this is... About as bad as this could have gone, actually. Um, I'm just gonna jump. It's not worth staying. It really isn't. That was, yeah, about as bad as that could have... Uh-huh. Okay, so, we have a breach somewhere. We're in the middle of a sun. And uh, shields, even if I had them, would be completely offline at this point. Let's go ahead and do that like that. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, we're in the middle of a sun. And their shields came up at the exact wrong time. Damn. Okay, so we're pretty doubtless going to take damage here. Unfortunately. Considering the damage I have already taken, I'm not too happy about that. Uh, I have no idea where that damage went. We're basically just going to have to... Crap. We're going to be fighting our way out. Good to know. Uh, you. Fix. And there's a fire over here. Good, good to know. Glad to hear it. You need to go in there. You need to go in here. Ah, I see fire. Oh, good. I see my weapons going offline. This is already turning out not that great. Ah, I see, says the blind man to the deaf mute. Fire everywhere. Just lost a man. You know what? We're just gonna... I wanna press the restart button. Because that was just... That was, that was going badly. That was going poorly. Okay. So, new rule. Don't do what I just did. I don't even know what I just did. But, um, don't, don't do that. Okay, let's see what we can find. This, I can, pr come on! Rebel riggers, rebel riggers everywhere. Rebel, rebel riggers and not a drop to, I have no idea where I'm going with this. Okay, well my shields are almost offline. That thing is thankfully offline. And hopefully, actually I'm gonna wait for the pike beam. Actually, we're just gonna go ahead and fire that off. And hopefully it'll actually work. Awesome. Yes, this thing is offline. Okay, that got a little bit cl too close for comfort. I think beam drones are going to be definitely a big issue for me in this ship. Uh, at least to start out with. Once I'm actually in a position where I am able to uh, or get myself a shield, I'll be happier. Okay, but we're still we're kind of teasing out how this ship works, I think. It's another Rev Rigger. Of course it is. What type of drone do they have? I don't know. And I frankly don't care. So let's switch that to weaponry. You know what? As long as that just hits my shields and not me, I couldn't care less. Okay, their weapons are... Uh, their, uh, everything is offline right now. I think they probably have a systems repair drone if I had to make a guess. Okay. 
Uh, let's accept the surrender. We get a human, which we'll toss into the shields room. Simply for the time being, until we're actually able to unlock some shields. And we're gonna keep on jumping around, kind of an as usual thing. Another Rebel Rigger. Goody, goody. What did I do to deserve this? At least it doesn't take down my shields quite as fast as the previous one does. That beam is gonna piss me off, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, I only took a little bit of damage. It's okay. One damage is understandable. I can deal with that. Two damage is okay. I can deal with that. This is gonna come to three damage territory, isn't it? Okay. You fix. And we move on. This ship's gonna be hard, isn't it? Ooh, hey! Okay! Sure! I mean, okay? Oh, come on. You're kidding. Oh, you have got to be. Wow. Thank you, game, for the unadulterated announcement of how much you hate me. I mean, this is just not nice, really, now. Come on, you get in here. Come on, Ion Blasts, come on. Like, I literally cannot do anything about this. I'm going to die here because I can't afford to take anything off. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. Before I give up on this, because this is already frustrating me. It's, I, I need shields, is what I need. I need to have shields. Uh, we learned this in the, uh, in the stealth ship. You need to have shields. The game just... The game doesn't work without them. But then again, we've also proven that the game actually just outright hates me, so there's that too. Okay, so shields are partially offline, or partly damaged, but that's fine. I can live with that. Let's go ahead and uh, toss one of these here. Auto fire, there, there. If I could have like fights like this over and over and over, I could live with that. Except for that. This I can't live with, and I do not appreciate this. keep on taking damage like this. Yep. Here comes another one. Well, on the good side, that destroyed them. On the bad side, we got a fire here that won't end. We just lost every bit of shielding that me... Oh, come on. Are you... Really? Okay, take it back. We're gonna go one more. Because apparently I'm... There are no words. Nope, none. I'm not trying. I'm not saying anything. Nope. Nope, nada. Nope. Nilch. Nilch. Is that something you put on your plants to help them grow? Okay, let's see. Come on, give me some guys. I okay, this I can fight. I can fight this. I am, I am completely okay with this. Give me more of this. This I like. I would have appreciated if those hit in a slightly different order, but that's cool too. Okay. So yeah, this I can deal with. And what I'll probably end up doing, my ship, like, in terms of my actual raw power in this ship, like damaging power and everything like that, it's good. So what I think I might need to do is just to flat out just work on shields to start with and then start working from there. So I already start with two ion blasts, and those will move fast. I, you know, especially if I can pick up someone like, I don't know, a shield recharge booster or something. You know, that would be excellent. So maybe we'll see it doing something like that. Okay, let's hit, let's hit the distress beacon. Uh, disable the defense system, get some scrap. Quest marker. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, we promise to deliver the cargo. Get a human who I can toss in shields. Jump to distress beacon. Trap. Okay. Uh, this could get tricky. Yes, I know I should be putting the human in the... Actually, you, know, you here, you here. I was about to say something about that exact thing and then realize, you know what? Maybe I should just fix the problem first. Hit. Take offline, please. Thank you. Okay. I was worried. Now I'm happy. Excellent. Okay, yeah, definitely a lot happier about this. And having the human on the uh, cockpit is going to be immensely helpful. Awesome. Okay, only 12 scrap, unfortunately. Uh, not quite as good as I was hoping for. But it's enough. You know, we're doing okay. Uh, I'm not going to surrender a crew to slavers. This should be a pretty easy fight. Hopefully, we'll get ourselves a uh, Zoltan out of this. I would really love having another Zoltan on the crew. Unfortunately, there's just no way to make it work so I can hit all the rooms at once. That would just be too easy. Okay, they're just completely disabled. That's absolutely fine by me. And as, and as I said earlier, uh, when uh, Hutz here is able to get to like level two, um, what are they gonna give me? An NG, okay. You know what? With the way we have seen these runs go in the past 16 minutes, I think an NG is gonna be useful. Get ourselves some scrap, uh, defense drone mark something or other. What are we gonna find? Nothing here. That's a store. Don't need it. Not right now. Uh, let's be a hero and attack these guys, because I would really like to have uh, level one shields before we leave this sector. That's kind of my goal. I know that's really, you know, I've said in the past that my goal is you know, level two shields, or level, yeah, like four bars in shields with two bars in, or four bars in uh, uh, engines and all that jazz. But, you know, when it comes to, when it comes to this ship, when it comes to weather, I think having uh, shields by the end of sector one is probably what I need. And then we can start working very specifically on uh, things like engines and stuff like that for sector two. I think, uh, I think actually having shields is a good compromise. Only nine scrap from him, and they jumped away, so, uh, unfortunately, we crapped out. How about in here? Anything nice in here? Nope. God, the game is actually, it's actively making fun of me for actually expecting to get something useful in Sector 1. Nope. I'm not kidding, it's actively making fun of me here. Nope. Three useless jumps later. We're actually running low on fuel at the end of Sector 1, which is... Uh... Bah. Got some fuel. Got another NG. I don't actually need any more NG. Having one is enough. I shouldn't even look at that map. I just clicked to go to the NG control sector. Okay, well, I should be getting shields any jump now. Any jump now. There we go. And of course, it happens to be a ship like this. I do not have a fighting crew. They're gonna make me fight. Eh, ridiculous. The good news is, I have Zoltan shields. So, I'm hopefully not gonna be seeing any actual jump onto me. Yeah. Not going to be seeing any jump. But if, if they did, if they actually were able to teleport onto my ship, I'd be like eight kinds of screwed right now. So let's count ourselves lucky. Can I please get at least eight scrap from this? That's all I ask. Just eight. I'll ask for more later, but having... Thank you. Okay. We are now at level one shields. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but right now, that's all I need. I can work with level 1 shields. Thank you, sir. 
we are now up to actually powered level one shields. Okay, this is ki this party's kicking to fix. Uh, yep, kicking to fix off. That sounds about right. Uh, I'm gonna get them fuel because well, scrap is important. As important as actually playing the game? Well, maybe. Down to four fuel. I'm actually hoping to see anything. I'm getting actually a little bit distressed by the sheer amount of no content jumps that we're getting. Okay, the good news. Good news. I have good news. I promise. The good news is we have actual shields right now. Even better than that is the uh, fact that we're going to be able to take down uh, the enemy's stuff before they ever get a chance to use it. Uh, nope, not gonna accept surrender. The other good news is we're gonna take absolutely no damage from this fight, which is, that's always good news for me. I love no damage fights. So, uh, you know, I'm considering myself lucky here. Hopefully an asteroid will take them out for me so I don't have to sit here waiting. Thank you. And we didn't even lose our full Zoltan shields. Uh, got some fuel. Yep, I actually got fuel out of that. If I could have more fights just like that, I would be a very happy camper. Backtracking a little bit so I can... That's not at all what I was hoping for. Another wasted jump. How about here? Uh, some scrap and system repair drone. You know, that's cool and all. Thank you, game. But I would like to see uh, something a little bit better than that. Our engines have been taken offline. I'm sure you can tell exactly how happy I am about this uh, revelation here. Now, hopefully, uh, this is going to be another one of these no-damage fights. I'm actually expecting as much, to be completely honest. Excellent. We'll go ahead and set that up just like that. Awesome. Weapons Master just went up to level 1. So 14% faster recharge. That actually does say something when it comes to Ion Blasts. Sure, they're not Ion Blasts Mark II, but... 14% faster is 14% faster. Got plenty of fuel, thank you, and scrap, awesome. Let's go ahead and upgrade our ship once more, get ourselves to level four engines. No, it's not, I mean, this isn't even what I expect to have at the end of sector one, but um, unfortunately that, or well, that was the crystal stasis pod event just now, but unfortunately I did not find the actual stasis pod. Uh, let's go ahead and sell some drone parts. Okay, I'm a cool by that. And we'll go ahead and uh, put another bar into there. Mantis homeworlds don't particularly interest me. So let's go to the Uncharted Nebula. Okay, so I don't really expect to get much in here. Actually, I'm kind of expecting to run out of fuel uh, the way the game's been playing me. Okay, I got... Why would you do this to me, game? Why would you punish me like this? What did I do to you? Okay, so now we really need to actually reach the end of the game. Uh, now it is almost a necessity that we reach the end of the game. And the reason why is that getting four Zoltan is rare enough. And the other thing is I need to have four Zoltan to actually uh, get the achieve uh, achievement we're hunting right now. So this is you know, kind of serendipity in and of itself. Uh, a little bit, at least. Spe you know, when you consider, uh... When you consider exactly, uh, the fact that I'm in a very screwed position, uh, that they're on my ship. Attacking my women folk. Or is that a guy? I don't know. You get out of that room! I'm gonna take damage here, unfortunately. There's, n there's not, yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. Let's heal up everybody in that room. Okay, we have a little bit of fuel. I'm actually gonna hold on to this scrap for now, uh, simply with the, uh, you know, hopes of using it to get myself a, um, uh, a set of fuel when we get to the next, uh, next sector. Glad we have these NG now, at least. Okay, uh, do we... Not even next sector. I'm hoping to get some fuel immediately, but I can't really justify not exploring as much as humanly possible. Okay, so this could be bad, so I'm just gonna double up on... Uh, why, why do I bother? I'm just gonna... Yeah, we're just gonna ion blast as much as possible and hopefully have their shields down in time for my first pike beam blast. And uh, it is my hope that we will actually get their uh, weapons offline... 
ASAP. I know that we're not going to get their weapons offline uh, immediately, but uh, actually, that right there is actually the best I could have hoped for. That allowed me to slag every single room. They're not completely offline, but they're offline enough, and that was, that's what counts. And we got a fair amount of damage off of it, too, so uh, I'm okay with that. Unfortunately, their shields did come online. I guess, did I not, uh... I guess I didn't aim that right, because it doesn't look like I had hit the shields last time. Okay, let's take the pipe beam offline for a second, because I want to make sure the ion blasts fire first. That they do. Nope. That needs to go... through there. Uh, not going to accept surrender off these guys. Give me fuel. Thank you. That's just enough for me to actually continue going. We are searching for a shop. This could be bad. I will actually fight these guys. Uh, it's more bravado than anything, to be completely honest with you. Uh, but, um... Okay, I want you... Actually, you know what? I want that in here. This is more bravado than it is anything. And, I mean, just honestly, that's really what this is. Is an, a hope to... Ha no! Okay, maybe it's not just bravado. Maybe I'm actually doing this for a reason. But, uh... I'm more doing this for... The hope that I'll get fuel than I am doing this because I want to fight these guys in this situation. I think we can win. I wouldn't have fought them otherwise. But, um... That's untrue. We, you guys have probably seen me in other situations. We know. Yes, I will take that deal. One of the few times I will actually take a surrender. Okay, now we can actually go and teleport around to our heart's content. Uh, let's search the wreckage. Get some drone repair. Get a ton of scrap. Okay, now the fuel's not quite so dire. Now I'm going to actually start upgrading my ship. Uh, let's go ahead and put some points into shields. Because I would love to have level 3 shields ASAP. Uh, because now we're getting to a point where having that's going to be very, very useful. I am okay with empty jumps for the time being. I would like to have some full jumps soon. Like this. Well, I am really glad I put some points into that now. Holy damn. Okay, let's do this like this for now. Uh, we're going to want to do this like this. I know this is not going to permanently take down their shields, but it should take down their shields just long enough. But I want to make sure that we get rid of these drones ASAP. Yeah, our shields are just gone. <laughs> wow. Um. Oh crap. Okay. That um. I I I didn't. Uh, I was apparently not paying enough attention. Can I stretch this to hit all five? No. Okay. So we are definitely going to be taking some damage here. We are just wait. We are waiting for our engines to come back online. Is what's going on. Wow, I can't. Wow, really? Okay, you two get out of that room and get back here. Shields online, please. Can I? Okay, you get in here. Did I? Okay, no, I didn't lose an engine. This is gonna hurt. Ah, damn! Come on. The sheer amount of damage we are taking. And where's this fire coming from? I need you in here. Right now. I cannot believe this. This run was going so well. You go help fix this. Okay. Actually, you know what? You go help fix this. Okay. I need this guy to be offline. Come on, we're... Ugh, I need... Ugh. Full disclosure, I don't think I'll be leaving this area. I am literally just not being allowed to get anything online long enough to survive. That's basically the long and short of it. You, get in here. How are their weapons not offline? Cannot believe that missed. Am I gonna survive? Is it gonna happen? It's looking increasingly like it will. Okay, I need you in that room. 
let's get oxygen back online. Holy damn. I went from nearly full health to almost nothing from this fight. I'm seriously rethinking the strength of this ship. Wow. Okay. The problem is, the amount of scrap I just got is not going to cover, um... Uh, the repairs from that fight. Which is truly awful. Doors closed, please. You, you, you. Yeah, that's not going to cover... It's not going to cover the repairs. So, this is kind of a problem. Oh, right. Let's go ahead and fix that. Okay, you get in this room. You get in this room. You go fiddle around back here. And I want you in this room. Are you my actual weapons guy? Yes, you are. Okay. <sighs> okay, it's okay. There is a store right here. I have stuff I can sell. Sell, sell, sell. Fix all. Um. Long range scanners. Fuel. Okay, that's, that's, that's good. I like that. I'm going to upgrade to level 2 doors because I definitely need level 2 doors. That last fight really showed off exactly how much I need level 2 doors. Okay, I uh, chose long range scanner just in case we could potentially get the uh, crystal crew member on the next uh, sector. I don't find it particularly likely, but what can I say? I have uh, Hope Springs Eternal, I guess. Get our evasion up. I know we're not going to take this guy out uh, faster than he can fire, but I'm hoping we can take him out faster than he can damage me. It does require my Ion Blast actually hitting, though, and that is becoming increasingly unlikely. Of course it does. Actually, you up here, you back here. And I had that, uh, and I had that pike beam completely uh, online too. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Come on! Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do anything about this. This is another fight that I can't do anything about. I couldn't even get through his shields. The ion blast does not fire fast enough, even with that guy upgraded as he is. This is ah. Getting extremely frustrated. My sheer inability to get anything done. Like, I'm sitting here going, maybe, possibly, I could maybe get this done and get this achievement, but uh, the game is throwing everything it can at me to make it impossible. Okay, well, the rebels are catching up, so I have to make my way to the exit. I am once again not, uh, or once again running out of mana. Mana. Mana? Where'd that come from? I'm running out of scrap is what I'm running out of. Uh, can I aim? Oh, that... Right! Pike Beam is now in that slot. And these guys have an awful lot of weapons. I'm actually kind of uh, concerned about that. Well, my shields are completely offline. Or my, uh, super shields. Okay, Ion Blast, can you please take down one level of shields? That's all I ask. Thank you. Uh, how do I want to do this? I want to do this just like that. Okay. Let's do that. Yes, I'm going to take a little bit of damage. It's not something I really anticipate being able to stop. But I think that doing it like this was the best way because it means I am guaranteed to hit with the Ion Blast, which means their shields will continue to be down. Tempting. I'm just going to ignore it, though. What I need now is power, and lots of it. Okay, they're offline. Good. Uh, did not, uh, get much, but I did get a Mantis crew member. That, um, I'm not sure how much that's going to actually help me, but I'm willing to take it. Okay, how far do I need to go? Can I go to the, yeah, I'm gonna go to this. I think I have enough time. 
uh, to make this happen. I hope I have enough time. Okay, uh... Ion Blast, Ion Blast. I really kind of want Pike Beam in, uh... Slot 3, but being in Slot 3 means it doesn't, um... Uh, it goes offline, uh, faster, which I really don't want. Okay, good, their stuff's offline. So this is how this should go, but, you know, to really make this a powerhouse, to actually make this the best it could possibly be, I would need to have at least one Ion Blast Mark II. Not, uh, that's not out of the question, by any means. You know, we could maybe actually see that happen. Crap, 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 crap. I, I mistimed it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get as many jumps in as I can before I have to leave, because I have to fight my way out. Pretty much no matter what. Ugh. This was a bad idea. Okay, well, I have a couple of hits before they're actually gonna deal damage. That uh, Halberd Beam is gonna take a while to charge up, so I have time. But not much. That being said, I'm not sure if their current weapon setup can actually do damage to me. So there's that to be said. Yeah. The uh, Halberd Beam can't get through my level 3 shields. Thank you for that earlier, by the way. And um, their Heavy Laser can't do any damage to me. So that's pretty good as long as I can keep their uh, weapons offline. Uh, they're offering me stuff that I, I kind of want that fuel, but I want the scrap even more. I'm probably going to regret this. Now we're keeping their shields down fairly well. So I guess that's what I need to do, is to not focus on weapons at all and just sort of let my shields weather the, sh weather the attack and instead focus all of my damage directly onto their, uh... directly onto their shields. Well, let's see if we can... I... It's... I want to say it's kind of necessary for me to get this kill because I need that fuel. Like, I'm not confident enough myself to actually say that is absolutely necessary, but... Okay, come on, Ion Blast. I just need you to take down their shields. Come on. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and hit it like this. Yeah, that's the best way to do that. Okay, now their burst laser is offline. Uh, I don't... Ah, crap, that's gonna hit. Yeah, I figured. You in there. What I kind of wanted to do was to send my... Okay, now I need to do this. But that thing's going to fire before these actually hit, isn't it? Yes, it is. Crap. You get in there. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, I am really glad I was able to track exactly where that was going. You get back in here. Uh, you get in here temporarily. Okay, so there, there everything is offline, and it's going to stay that way. Uh, we're going to be able to get our ship back in working order. They die. I am, I'm able to get uh, that. So I took a little bit more damage than I would have absolutely liked to take. And that's... I'm, what can I say? I mean, it, you can't really argue with that. I took way more damage than I would have liked to take. But the good news is, we're alive. We're into the next sector. I have energy. Uh, I'm nowhere... The bad news is, I am nowhere near where I would want to be for this achievement. Side with the Fugitive, take damage. And the game continues to throw at me the exact stuff I really don't want to deal with. In this case, double layers of shields and lots and lots of weapons. Weapons that are great at removing Zoltan energy shields. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so, depending on how fast I can take things out. Yeah, okay, so we're not going to take damage here, but it's a close run thing. This is not the ideal way to deal damage to them, and in fact, I'm going to change it up a little bit because that gets us more damage, and I want more damage. Uh, I'm pretty confident that we're not going to take damage here. I say just before I potentially take damage. Okay, there goes their ship. A little bit close. Okay, let's upgrade our... engines. I'm 
go I will go to the I will go to the stress. It's my next jump. Let's explore the asteroid field, take damage. Damn! I was hoping we get some fuel out of that. Stress beacon, please give me something. Search for the ship. Get the stasis pod. Because this game wants to troll the ever-loving hell out of me. Oh, good. The good news is there is no good news. None at all. There's no good news here. Now, uh, the good news is that potentially I could get fuel out of this. There is more potential for my next jump to take me directly to... Um, or not next jump, my next sector could be Rock Home World, so I could potentially get the crystal ship, the crystal ship out of this. Uh, potentially. But no guarantee. It probably won't happen, uh, and the rebels are going to be right behind me, so I'm not going to really have time to explore this sector. And the next sector is the red sector. Okay, come on, let's see it. Okay. Well, going a little bit better than it was. There's the four fuel I need, and 40 scrap is wonderful. I'm going to put some into power. Now I'm going to hold on to the rest because I do need to repair my ship uh, at my nearest convenience. I'm going to skip that store because it's just too close, and I'm going to go and hope for stores later on. Uh, let's... Okay, so th this is the uh, quest marker for the NG ship. We got stores. I got quest markers. I'm going to skip the stores in favor of going in this direction. Oh, and I have it. Okay, I have a teleport. Not good. I'm going to have to do this. This is not the ideal. Because obviously NG only, you know, do half effective anything. I should have been doing this from the beginning. Get you guys out of there. I'm not going to be able to uh, get rid of air fast enough to actually make this work. So I'm going to take... <sighs> this game... I, I don't know. Does it do it just to make fun of me or something? You just go across the hall. Okay, we're waiting for our Ion Blast to do basically that. Come on, empty of air, empty of air. I just need that room to end. Thank you. Get air back into that room. So you can go man that again. And you go down there. Now they're trying to take out my O2. I'm just not appreciate... I, I don't appreciate these guys at all. They did take out my O2. You go there. Fix that. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. You out of there. You out of there. Door close. Okay. Now I'm going to hold on to this because we, we're going to need to heal at some point. Uh, Got to jump here. It's an empty room, so it could potentially have the Zoltan Research Facility. Nope. Because it's quest marker. guys start teleporting as soon as they see me. That's fine. You get into that room right over there. You get over here. So it's a convenient place to have you. As long as I... If I get just one achievement during this run, if I only get the um, uh, power achievement for this... Wow, why? Why, why? Because I hate you, Trubeck, yes, I understand. Um, if I only get that achievement for having the upgraded reactors... Now, you don't get to screw with me and live. I called the wrong envoy, seriously. Okay, kill that guy. jump's imminent, this is probably not going to work, but... 
come on. No! Damn. Because I actually killed them, too. Oh, well. Uh, you two go deal with that. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and jump to this empty beacon right here. Explain that you're friendly. Get free stuff. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're... Can I just... No, I... Mm -hmm. No. I was hoping it'd be a Zoltan Research Facility. It's not. That's fine. There's a repair drone. So, I... Uh, the good news is I have... You know... I have scrap. That's the good news. The bad news is, though I have scrap, I have very little else to show for it. Well, I mean, I, it's it's a mantis-controlled sector anyway, so it's not as if it was actually the rocks uh, sector. If it was, this would feel worse. Go ahead and close that door. You go fix. You go fix. They have names. No, they don't. Okay, so let's uh, jump to this distress beacon. Give me something. Leave them alone. We do not deal with giant alien spiders. I will happily wait here with my distress beacon instead of dealing with giant alien spiders. I am going to need something in the way of another weapon soon, or we are in serious trouble. Okay, that missed. Uh, that missed. That missed. Let's go ahead and put that into engines. Uh, get a 45% dodge chance going. What I need is an accuracy chance. That's what I need. Well, after a number of uh, attempted hits, they at which they have missed everything so far. Uh, okay, so now they're actually starting to hit me. That's bad. I'm sorry I made fun of your mother. Let's go ahead and hit there and see how much we can take out. Okay, so they were trying to jump. Uh, you get in there. You know what? You two. Everybody in here. Most of their weapons are offline. You get the hell out of there. Okay, their scary weapons are, for the most part, offline. They do they are charging their FTL though, which I am of course not happy about. Okay. Woo, that was close. I do not want to lose another guy to another jump. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit up that distress beacon. I'm looking for a store, though. Uh, let's go ahead and sell missiles. I'm okay with that. Distress beacon. Show me good stuff. Come on. Uh, send cruise uh, engine to calm down the infected. <sighs> I need a store. I need to buy fuel. I need to buy upgrades. Uh, this is gonna be stupid. Try to rescue the survivors. Take damage. Okay. You know what? Fine. It's my last jump for now, unless I get something off of this jump. Come on. Thank you. Okay, the game is not trolling me as hard as it was. Um, I'm gonna go to this. I'm gonna go to the non-ship beacon, looking for a store. Uh, let's probably open the pod. So I just lost a crew member. I lost one of my NG. I'm not... I am upset, believe me. It's, this is not like I'm not upset about this. But uh, it's not as bad as it could have been. Can my O2 not be as efficient at, you know, yeah. I'm just going to let him go in, that's fine. Hopefully the air will escape out of there quickly. Okay. Thank you, store. Apparently this game, it's ask and you shall receive. I don't know when that started. Okay. Um, first of all, sell that. Um, I'm basically going to sell it. I mean, there's no practical function to having it, so let's just get rid of it. And I'm going to hold on to that. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to fix all... I'm thinking. Don't rush me. What do I want to do? My damage is at nothing, essentially. 
what I could do is up weapon control, and I could pop that other ion blast, and that would be helpful. But... Okay, so now that I've made probably one of the biggest mistakes I'll make this run. And I say one of the biggest, because you're only allowed so many big mistakes before, you, uh, before uh, you get killed. Okay. The good news is, I'll actually be able to kill this dude. Then again, I do have to hit with everything. Remember, that is one of the key components. Wow! Double wow! Oh, did I get another Mantis? Uh, another Eng or Zoltan at some point? No, this is this is the guy that's supposed to be over here, giving me the ability to dodge crap. Got it. Um, let's go ahead. Can I make this work? Yes. Oh, that's gonna... Okay, that missed. Wow. Uh, you have... Just... No idea... How much that worried me just now. You go ahead and just walk over here. I was seriously of the impression that that missile was gonna hit and cost me two Zoltan crew members. You go out, you go in. Okay, we're still... We are dodging. That is about all I can say right now, is that we are dodging. Need that point to go there. Come on, dodge chance. Come on. Thank you. Okay, uh, you two. Go, well... You go back to here. You go to here. You go in here for a second. You go into here, so now I have power. Good. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. A lot, lot worse. Okay, you get back in here. Uh, we are... Okay, I need another point into power, so I can power that up to full. Okay. Uh-huh. This is good. Um, no upgrades I can make right now, so we're just going to jump to that beacon, then we're going to jump to the exit. I still might be able to make it happen. Every jump I make, every sector I go through, makes this feel more and more unlikely that I'm actually going to get this achievement. But there continues to be this potential for it to happen. There go my normal, or there go my shields. Actually, let's start from this end. Damn! They still got through. Okay, that bomb exploded harmlessly. Yeah, those all went basically exactly where you'd expect them to. Uh, so I haven't quite taken their ship offline yet, but it's close. Yeah. You, back in here. Okay, we got plenty of scrap. Uh, I really wish we had a crew teleporter right now, because honestly, that would be get making getting all this scrap that I need so much easier. But, um, just not in the cards. I'm gonna jump to this on this location, and then I'm gonna jump to the exit. Oh, that's, that, that's, that's lovely. I like that. No, you get over here.
Okay, you two get in here. Okay, this might actually work. Wow. Could have died. Didn't. Could have. You there. Uh, you need to go heal. Uh, Nicola, you are my shield dude. You get in here. You need to go fix that. And I need you to just go sort of stand here and look pretty, I guess. Okay. Got just enough time to make it to the exit. What am I going to get here? Uh, explore the asteroid field. Get some fuel. Okay. So this is going to be uh, Sector 6, actually. Okay. So we still have plenty of time. Like, we're kind of on track to get that achievement. Uh, one thing I do want to see at some point is um, cloaking device. Okay, I got uh, sabotaged again. Is that a type? Uh, oh, crap. That is a Mark II. Notable things about the Mark II, they shoot down incoming ion blasts. And they are apparently very good at them. Okay, I'm gonna let a couple more rounds go by because I don't think these guys can actually deal damage to me. But if I'm not able to take that shield down soon, this is not gonna be a worth it fight. Now, I might be able to. It's going to require me actually hitting, though. And you guys know exactly how well that works. Come on, Ion Blasts. I only need to hit with two of you per attack round. It can only shoot down one. Okay, I just need to see one more. One more and I can do it. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's see it. Yes! Put this here. Perfect. That could not have been more excellent. That was a perfect uh, place for that beam to go. And we're still not taking any damage. Excellent. Okay. Tons of scrap. Let's go ahead and uh, actually... Yeah, that's what I figured. Store right there. Distress beacon first, then store. Hopefully get something useful. Uh, repair targeting system, get crap ton of reward, go to store. What does the store offer me? Crew teleporter and cloaking. Both of which are very tempting. Uh, the only problem with the crew teleporter is I don't have a crew capable of, fi of making it work. So instead, I'm going to pick up cloaking, get some fuel, and... Uh, That's how I'm going to do this. Okay. I feel safer now. Now that I can cloak past big missiles. Okay. Now I feel safer. Uh, I do want to take this thing's shields down ASAP, though, because, you know, it obviously has crew teleporters. I really don't want to deal with another boarding situation. Just gonna open up the airlocks to all unmanned areas. And as soon as I do that, they bomb my uh, oxygen. Actually, you know what? You over here. That oxygen's just gonna have to wait. Okay, I need you to go over here. God damn it! They, I don't know how they kept up with him. Okay, so the achievement's now a lost cause. I... I don't even, guys. I, I really... I just... I cannot even... And I'm gonna lose that NG, too. Or not. Okay. 
You know what? I'm happy to be proven wrong. I really, I'd like to see the game prove me wrong about the whole losing, uh, or not being able to get the achievement thing too. Game, would you mind doing that for me, please? I have to have at least four, um, Zoltan in order to make it work. So I need another one. And the fact that I just lost that one, especially under those circumstances, was really, really crappy because I had him out of there. But the Mantis were able to keep up, kill to, and just killed him. Just flat out. And there was nothing I could have done about it. You get in here. Because you're going to be manning that for a while. Not only did I lose a man, but I lost that piece of power, too. And that's just terrible. Okay. That is something. Problem is, I need more power to my weapon systems to make it happen. There is potential for that, and that could be the good damage I have been waiting for. Uh, let's go ahead and help these guys. Let's jump here. I uh, don't actually need fuel now. Let's go ahead and jump to the store. What does the store hold for me? Why? Um, okay. That's how we're going to do this. You with me. Um, throw you into that room. Why not? We're making it happen, guys. I'm going to force this through. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and attack this ship. I only need two ion blasts for this, uh, which is uh, very convenient. That's very kind of the game to allow me that. Okay, I'm just, what am I doing? I have shields. Now I don't have shields. Okay, let's go ahead and halberd beam. I don't want it. No. Weapons. Oh, that's right. The help cream is not as long. Okay, that's fine. Uh, like that should. Like that should do it. Yeah, I didn't realize my shields were that far down. That's fine. We'll let them. We will let them just do their thing. I do at some point need to get, um... You get over here. And you just walk out. D don't even dignify that with a response. Yep, go ahead and just fight them in there. That's cool. Okay. I need 75 uh, scrap in order to make my dream come true, essentially. Uh, I think it's possible. I think it's doable. Done. Done. Ion Blast is now online. Okay, so we still need another 10 bars of scrap. 10 bars of scrap? What am I saying? No, we need another 10 bars of uh, energy in order to make this work. Uh, uh, I'm just going to exit. I want to go to the stress beacon so badly, but I'm, I just cannot risk losing at this point. And I feel that having to fight my way out would be just an inordinate amount of risk. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold on to my cloaking and leave my cloaking. I'm not going to use it. Actually, let's do this. I'm not going to use it until my full shields are down. Unfortunately, it was not able to take out their teleporter. That's what I'm going to cloak. 
because I do not want my uber shields to go down. Uh, definitely not taking that. No, I'd rather have, I'd rather have the, uh, the scrap. Yes! Okay. That is awesome. I like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and power up my engine some more. Damn. I would have been able to hit both the stress beacons, too. Okay, we're going to go to the Zoltan-controlled nebula. I need a lot of luck for this, guys, in order to have this happen. Because we still need, uh, 270 scrap, and then I need to also spin in here just to actually... I need to... You have to have something to use the scrap on. So... There is a... Oh, 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 oh really? I don't, I'm not even sure I want to do this, honestly. I'm not sure this is worth doing. Yeah, this is definitely not worth the fight at all. I'm just gonna get my uh, engines going here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Gone. Not dealing with that. Uh-uh. No way. And I get boarded. You go fix that. Put points into that. You know what? You go help out with that. You just leave. You get back in that room. Yeah, I don't know why I, I don't know why I opened that door for a moment there. No, I, I have no idea. Don't ask me. Okay, you back in here. This has already been a series of really not useful jumps. Jock try to rescue survivors. Okay. Got another NG. I'm not gonna argue with it at this point. I need another NG. Uh, I don't need to be doing that, I need to be doing that. Okay, I need to get some scrap off of this. <sighs> this is basically the exact same auto assault that I just ran away from. Oh, right, I don't have any fuel. So they're going, why can't I jump away? Because I have no fuel. That's typically why you don't get to jump away. Well, that's, um... That's lovely. I like that. I'm just waiting for that uh, burst laser over there. Wow, I, I guess I timed that right. So our shields are all but offline. Now that is something... That is very interesting. If you have Zoltan in the room, you cannot be entirely ioned. You fix that. Uh, that is definitely something I was not aware of. And it is definitely something interesting. Uh, guys, the, uh, unless something amazing happens here, the run's about to end. That qualifies as something amazing, sure. Yeah, come on, take down those shields. I just need those shields a little bit further down. I can actually fight back. Okay, that will actually make this possible. Okay, my cloaking device is offline. You know what? That's fine. Oops. 
that's how we're gonna do this, that's how we're gonna do this, that's fine. You, go, go help fix that. Okay, yeah, we're, we're gonna survive this, it's gonna happen. Wow, that was, that was something, I'll tell you what. Two fuel, but the important thing is 41 scrap, okay. Gonna put a point into power. And that's it, unfortunately. Um, I do not want to go there, so I'm gonna go here. Please give me scrap. Explore the asteroid field, get some fuel. Okay, you know what? Fuel is good too. I really want to go to that stress beacon, really, 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 but <sighs> come on. Give me something. Don't get me this close and tell me. All right then. Okay, how do I want to do this? I'm going to hold on to the scrap because I really want to get level 4 shields here. Okay, what do I have here? Okay, that I can deal with. I can totally deal with this fight. And I really wish I had gotten a scrap recovery arm or something earlier on in this mission. That would have made life such a pleasure. Pass this through like that. Okay. Their shields are down. Let's divert that over there. Divert that into there. Come on. Uh, do not accept surrender? Yes! <laughs> wow, that was close. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm trying to decide what's the better part of Valor here. Should I risk trying to hit as many beacons as possible before I run towards the end? Because I'm not exactly close here. Oh, right, game's paused. I mean, I need a lot more scrap than I have right now. But... You know, I could potentially cheese it and, uh... make this happen. And by cheese it, I mean I can potentially just take all the scrap I have and just put it into really cheap and easy things to, uh, buy. So, at this point, that might be the best way to go about doing things. You know, maybe, um, put it into, like, a third, you know, I could probably afford two points of oxygen, two points of, uh, med bay, um, yeah, not gonna let them jump onto my ship. Okay, what do I need? Um... 210 just for the energy costs, which I, I, I don't have. And I'm not going to have. Hit the stress beacon. I need fuel, but... What are they going to give me? Well, that was worthless. Two missiles for three fuel? Sure. Okay, we're gonna just hit up a couple of beacons before we hopefully, you know... Why? As Trance said, these riggers always cause problems. But it's not as if I have much of a choice here, so we're going to uh, do the same thing we did with that NG ship some time ago, and basically just hope that we can get enough damage going here. You know, if they have a uh, ship repair drone, I'm in kind of a bad way here. But that first laser Mark III is all they really have, and I'm not too concerned about it. Okay. Not gonna accept surrender. Surrender. 
know what? I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure I'm gonna have. I have to go check numbers for a second. Hold on. Is this even possible? Okay. In order to make this work, gonna need a lot of luck. And I'm not gonna get that luck. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to jump through multiple fights just like this, just to get away. And unless I get very, 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 very lucky in the final sector, I will not be getting the achievement this run. As sucky as that is. Uh, I need a lot of scrap to make it happen, and we got extremely unlucky during multiple portions of this run that just made this not possible. So, uh, you know, we're gonna have to see. That ship scares me. I've got a full 30 seconds left before I'm actually gonna have, uh, uh, cloaking. Okay. And jumping to the exit. Okay. The exact same ship as last time. Uh, we, can, we know we can do this. So what I'm going to need is to basically put oxygen and med bay up to level 3 apiece. I'm also going to need to put uh, cloaking up to level 3. And one point into... Uh, I will also need to put one point into um, engines, I think, in order to actually do this. And, of course, I have to have all of the uh, scrap to do this. So needless to say, it is not likely that this is going to happen. But I'm not going to just give up. This is going to be a very frustrating fight. I can already see this. Yeah, this is going to be a very frustrating fight. Luckily, the cockpit's down, so I should be able... Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Charge up. I'm so glad we have high-level shields here. Not quite sure how his engines aren't just completely broken. It's not going to matter in a couple seconds anyways, but... Okay. So what does it give me? Uh, an automated reloader. Oh, that just... Okay, that was sexy. Okay, I'm going to buy the most expensive thing first, because that is also the thing I am most likely going to want on the final boss fight. Okay. That automated reloader is going to make these ion blasts a lot better. They're going to land a lot faster, and they're also going to start landing before their own effects wear off, which is the true beauty of the automated reloader right now. Ion Blast, come on, land. Okay. Let's get dangerous. Skip that. Momentary blink right there. Yay, magic reference. Um, Come on, Halberd Beam, come on, make it happen. Nice. Now, please recall, I do not have a crew teleporter, so I'm going to have to beat the final boss without any resort to my usual strategy. It's going to be interesting. Another 68 scrap. Let's go ahead and get two more power. So I still need uh, four more power. It's 120 scrap. I need, a, I need a lot of scrap here. Now, this could result in that scrap. 
because I this is this one's a uh, this uh, rigor's attacking an outpost. Remember, outposts give rewards for defending them. First things first, cloak up, and then break things. Excellent. Man, I wish I had a couple more jumps I could make, but unfortunately, most of the beacons around me have been taken over already. 47 scrap, 64 scrap. Damn, not quite enough. Uh. Okay, this is gonna get really risky here. I'm getting really risky about how I'm playing this because I, the rebel flagship is jumping away from me and remember, I have to catch it. So, uh, not sure how well this is gonna work, but again, we're trying. Come on, Ion Blast, thank you. Break things. I will say I was having a I was really just liking no weather earlier just because of our uh, 16 minutes of this is not working, but I'm really appreciating it now. You go elsewhere. You go fix that. You go heal up. You get back on that. You two go heal up. You get back on engines. Ah, damn it, they repaired me. That's not what I wanted. Okay, well I have all the I have all the bars. Now the only question is Can I get the uh Can I get the scrap to get the things the bars go into? This is going to be a close one, guys, but it will be all the sweeter for being close. You're not the right guy. Yes, you are. And why does it seem like the Ion Blast is taking a lot longer to charge than usual? Wow, all three of those hit. I'm kind of impressed. Whoever is currently on weapons, good job, that man. He is actually aiming like a pro. Can I get him every time we have a fight? You know, I'm thinking this this ship, just with these three Ion Blast and a Halberd Beam, we're going to rip the pants off the final boss. Not accept Surrender, I need more scrap than that. If you guys had offered me, like, a hundred scrap, I would have automatically said yes, you know? I'm sorry. Okay. 63 scrap. Achievement unlocked, giving her all she's got. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the no weather uh, completed. The boss is coming to me. The only thing left to do is to break this son of a bitch. And I am going to be so happy to do that. Okay. Iron Blast, Iron Blast, Iron Blast. And now it's a waiting game. Dodge that. Oh god, I love these ion blasts right now. What scares me more? Let's go ahead and hit that to there. Okay, this is fine. They are going to be able to get their shields online, but we have shown that I can get their shields offline fast enough. Or maybe they won't get their shields online. Oh, that makes this all the sweeter. Just dodge that crap. Break that, uh, break that weapon. Awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna toss this stuff back here now. Cause I only need maybe two more shots from it, from the halberd beam, and it'll take down this uh, ship. 
Uh, we are actually doing really well here. Nothing is staying offline long. We're taking next to no damage. Uh, the I'm, I'm mildly worried about the next form just because of the boarding drone, but I think we should be able to handle it. Damn, I was going to try to kill his cloaking device. Albert Beam? Good. Okay. <laughs> we got some shiny new scrap that I don't need for anything. Uh, where's it going? Over here? Let's chase it. Iron Blast, Iron Blast, Iron Blast. This is probably the wrong time to do this, but I want to see if I can take out... Uh, It's not going to take their boarding drone offline, but it should make it easier to take it out next time. Or maybe it will take their boarding drone offline. Okay. Okay, I'm probably going to end up taking a little bit of damage here. Maybe. As long as those boarding drones, do, as long as I don't have to deal with those boarding drones, I am happy. I don't care if I don't take down anything else. Come on, show me the money. Here we go again. These drones are now offline, so all I have to deal is with these. Uh, still kind of scary. They could still potentially wreck me. But all I need is one more shot from the halberd beam, and we've taken out tier two. And I'm just gonna cloak up for this. So that doesn't worry me at all. I think we're going to do it, guys. I think this is actually going to happen. Let's go ahead and put those points into sensors, because I just want to see their ship as they panic. I cannot believe we pulled this off, guys. This is amazing. Especially off of such a bad start. Because, I mean, be honest, that was a terrible start. We had to restart how many times? The fact that this actually worked, the fact that we made it this far, in general... But not only got a Zoltan, lost a Zoltan, got another Zoltan, made it to Sector 8 without the necessary requirements for the uh, achievement, and still pulled it off. And I think we're also going to beat the boss without any hull damage from the boss whatsoever, which is awesome. Did I take some slight damage off of off his missile, maybe? I don't know. Excellent. Let's go ahead and uh, break those. Okay, so I took a little bit of damage. The boss had to say something to me. Oh, to nose, I took some more damage. You know what? You guys can just die. Cloak up for that. Let's go ahead and change the direction of that to that direction. Pull these guys out of there. Got them off the doors just long enough. Again, might take a little bit of damage. Unconcerned. Completely in do not give a damn mode. Because I'm about to win done guys and one of my if you don't count the first uh the first three uh failures basically if you don't count those that was actually one of my most successful runs ever one of my fastest runs i have ever done uh which uh that feels damn good damn good okay let's check our stats uh top scores does it make it uh no it doesn't make it anywhere near the top it does beat my best score for the adjudicator though so, uh, there is definitely something there. Got our achievement for giving her all she's got, and that actually completes the Zoltan Cruiser for us type A and type B. We are coming down to the end, guys. Uh, we have the Slug Cruiser left, and now that we know her gimmick, we can probably work with her. 
Uh, and we only have to, we have to get the Crystal Cruiser, which will unlock that achievement. We have three achievements for the Crystal Cruiser, one achievement for the Rock Cruiser, three achievements for the Slug Cruiser, and the Weapon Pre-Igniter achievement. And that's it. We're done. Uh, I will see you guys next time.